up guys, I'm Gels. I'm Sam. We're from Artisan Wheels and today we're going to take my FRS and we're going to show you guys how to properly install your Artisan Deco Directional Wheels. So we're going to go ahead, get this thing up on a lift and get to it. I could really help right now. These gels doing really well. Because I'm professional. Work equips? Work equips, nope, we're not talking about those. Oh, we have the Artisa carriers here. Now, as you can tell, these are two different wheels. These are both for the front. Sam has the left side, I have the right side. Now, the deco directional wheels mean that they're gonna have a left and right side, just like this. So you wanna make sure that you install them correctly so you don't look like a nerd, right? Also, gels went <laughs> extra directional with yes. these Federal 595 tires where it's a directional tread pattern. So if you didn't get your tires mounted on the Artisa wheels and shipped for free to your door, which uh, we will do, us. we'll take yes. care of it. If you didn't do that, it's important to note the directional nature of the tires to make sure with your directional wheels that you're matching accordingly. Otherwise, especially if you're driving in the wet, you're not gonna have a fun time because you're gonna have no grip. Right. So if you are having a tire shop model, make sure that they know that they are direction wheels, that there is a left and right side, uh, so they do mount the tires correctly, because that's one of the biggest things that we see. Yep. Um, if we don't get to do it, you know, we design the wheels, we know it, we package them together. We know like the left and right sides, we'll know that like the tires need to go on a certain way. A lot of tire shops, they'll just, you bring them stuff, they'll just mount it and out the door as fast as possible. These are really nice, by the way. The Tanes? Yeah. Yeah. We also sell suspension, by the way. <laughs> You ready to watch me struggle? All right, so when you're mounting your wheel, um, best thing you want to do is get it lined up as you put it on there versus putting it on and then trying to mess with it on the, uh, the studs. You don't want to mess up the threading at all on here. And if you have your calipers painted at all, like a hot boy, you don't want to scratch that up and look all goofy. So take the wheel, if you've got a lift like we do, you can use your knee, kind of angle it in and send her home. And then before you walk away and watch your wheel drop off, take your lug nut socket or key, whatever you have, and just put one lug nut on for safety purposes. So Sam went ahead and did the driver side or the left side as was referred. So I'm gonna go over here, do the passenger side or the right side. So when you're talking left and right, left is gonna be your driver, right is gonna be your passenger. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this guy on here. I did what Sam told me not to do. It's okay. There we go. You know, the cool part about this too, inside every uh, wheel package, you actually get a card. Pretty sure it's actually Jell's car that's <laughs> on the card and it'll show you how to mount um, the tires properly to get that sweeping motion versus the cutting motion or digging motion that you don't want to have. Yeah, so we're talking sweeping. When you look at the wheel itself, you'll be able to see that if you're looking at the hub and you go straight up, you'll see that this spoke swoops back towards the end of the car, which is what you want. You don't want it sweeping this way. You want it sweeping this way. We have a ratchet. What the <laughs> frank is going on? Good for that. What size is that? Like 17 or 19? No. 21. Wow. This is really well organized. What are you talking about? It's great. I bet I can find it right away. These are all in freedom units. Where's the... There we go. When you are installing lug nuts, um, you want to use hand tools, especially if you have something like these. I don't know, Josh, if you can get that at all. Um, these are what we call spline drive. So you'll see in the socket that comes with the set, it's a spline. You don't want to use an impact with these um, because you can strip it and then you're gonna have a really bad day and not fun time trying to get those off. So use hand tools. Um, the other benefit to using hand tools is you're not gonna scratch up your lug nuts um, like you would with an impact. So keep them looking fresh, just like your wheels. When you tighten your lug nuts, you want to go side to side. So if you start with this one, then go here, then go to the top, then go to the side, and this side. You don't want to go all the way around um, or you won't have your wheel correctly seated to the hub. The other thing, important thing to note is torque specs. So I am a stickler on torque specs. So when you get your lug nuts, all, everyone I've ever gotten has had a torque spec that lug nut should be tightened to. Um, otherwise, check your vehicle's manual and it should tell you what, if you're using the stock lug nuts, what the uh, torque spec is on those. Use a torque wrench, don't just full send it. 90 foot-pounds, which is the standard for the FRS. So we're gonna go around, torque them down. Uh, other important thing is to make sure your car's in the ground because if you try to torque it down in the air, the wheel's just gonna spin and you'll feel like an idiot. Yeah, you look Trust like, me, I've done like it. a nerd. Oh, perfect. Make sure you're doing that star pattern gels. Yep. I know you like to just go around in the circle. Big circle guy. Oh yeah, here's another pro tip. Yeah, check your torque settings. After you put your wheels on, if you drive like 100 miles or whatever, just go back and recheck the torque settings. It doesn't hurt. You don't want a wheel coming off on the highway. That ain't cool.
All right, guys, so there it is. Quick breakdown on how to sell your aftermarket Artisa Deco Directional Wheels the right way so you don't look like a nerd rolling down the street with the wheels backwards. So thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, let us know what you'd like us to cover in the next episode. I think we're going to be doing a coilover installation on one of our friends. 240SX is coming up, uh, so stay tuned for that one. They got artists on there as well. We want to kind of get that thing dialed in a little bit more. We got some Fortune Autos going in on that, uh, so stay tuned for that. And of course, if you have any questions about Artisa or wheel tire package or anything along those lines, just let us know in the comments or shoot us a message. We'll be sure to answer. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Go shop some Artisa wheels. Check them out. We'll see you later. Peace.